What's happening YouTube? This is the Dire Wolf, and today I'm doing an unboxing of the newly released Asus Rogue Strix X99 Gaming Motherboard. The box that this motherboard came in is pretty stout. I definitely think it's packaged nicely. Uh, obviously it comes inside another box with protective casing, but this box definitely uh, is built pretty well. The motherboard itself comes inside a removable tray uh, inside its packing. And then beneath that tray is all the additional stuff, such as the faceplate, some zip ties for cable management, a set of stickers for labeling things, a SLI header, and the manual, user guide anyway, uh, and a driver disc. A few sets of SATA cables are included. The pin jumper for connecting up your case cables for power and reset and whatnot. This is a random cable. I'm not sure what it is for yet. Some colored panel replacements for on the motherboard. The CPU holder within the socket. a wireless adapter that plugs into the back of the motherboard and connects uh, receives the signal for your Wi-Fi and now it's time to take the motherboard out of the tray and out of the static protective bag as you can see in the background there I have the RAM and solid-state M.2 drive I purchased to go with this I'm upgrading from a i7-3930K, which is a DDR3 board. This has eight DDR4 slots, so I picked up eight sticks of DDR4. 64 gigs, which I know is massive overkill. Uh, tons of USB 3 connections on this guy. Optical audio, which I use with my Astro Mix Amp. This is socket 2011 v3 my 3930k is old socket 2011 hence the need to upgrade the motherboard came with these colored panels that are replaceable on the motherboard so you can customize it a bit to your personal liking it came with orange installed which i'm not even sure if i'll go through changing since i never really look at my motherboard but it came with pink uh, a greenish yellow and a gray color it also has the uh, replaceable piece for the heat spreader in the back there as well, behind the PCI uh, ports. This is the first motherboard I've had that came with uh, a large wireless adapter. Um, I expect that the wireless connection with this would be considerably better than the previous onboard solution I've tried, but I don't really use it, so I, I don't plan on using this one either, so I'm not really sure uh, that I'll even test it out since I do have my basement set up with hardwired connections for my desktop and my server. So I stated in the back there I have the Samsung 950 Pro M.2 drive, which I'm really excited to see the upgrade. I don't have M.2 on my current computer. It's not a possibility, I don't believe, with the Socket 2011. So I'm excited to try that out, uh, see what the additional speed is. It should be possible to get up to about five times faster than my traditional solid state drives that I have installed. Um, outside of that, I am putting in an i7-6900K, which is an eight core processor going up from my previous six core. Uh, I'm hoping, I know that the Broadwell E processors aren't uh, good overclockers. I'm coming into that knowing that. Uh, I only have my current processor overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz. I'm hoping I can get to that same level with the Broadwell E. Uh, and if that's the case, I expect a big upgrade and improvement getting the two extra cores, better instructions per clock, IPC, and uh, just the modern features that I don't have with 3930K, like the DDR4 and M.2 solid state drives. And that pretty much wraps it up for my Asus Rogue Strix X99 Gaming Motherboard unboxing. Hope you enjoyed the video, uh, learned a little bit maybe even. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I look forward to uh, seeing you in the future. This is the Direwolf.